Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Um, today, it's cool out. Last night, it got so beautiful. Our lessons were canceled. It's hard to hold lessons when you don't know what the weather's going to be like. So, they were anticipating that it wouldn't be cooled down, but it did cool down, but it was already kind of too late. So, we missed lessons yesterday. Seems like we've been missing so many lessons. But you can't get stressed out over the small stuff. This is how Ellie goes through the doors. <laughs> so, Ellie is nine months old now. And I wanted to show you guys Ellie's best friend on the farm. So, you guys might know this is little Rocky. He is one of the twins that was born. And he keeps our little buck company. So, that's his job on the farm now. He's a weather. We, we've had him castrated. And Ellie is obsessed with him obsessed and he loves her and she loves him it's actually a relationship that's mutual <laughs> because not everybody on this farm loves ellie but this little guy really does seem to she plays with him for hours every day every once in a while i lose ellie and she's with him when we first got goats ellie was definitely scared of them but now she truly is finding her groove with them but before we start today's video i just wanted to reassure any of you guys that are worried about us getting an emu um i know that i'm not good at keeping you guys up to date with what i dream and wish and want for our lives and I make so many changes and choices and I don't share them. So it makes it seem like we just randomly go off and do stuff. But I am the kind of person that is super cautious, just like Sophie. I am always thinking about and planning and I'm a slow person. So when I add a new animal to our farm, for you guys it seems like we just came out of the blue and added a new animal. But in reality, I've been thinking about it and planning it and preparing for it for a really long time. I have always wanted goats. Even before I wanted horses, I wanted goats. Goats are my dream animal, to be fair. And I've been studying them and reading up on them and, and determining what breed I want for years and years and years. And in fact, if you're a very old viewer, you might remember that we have had a many, many bottle babies. Actually, it might even be before YouTube. Actually, I think there have there have definitely been bottle babies on YouTube. But we've had bottle baby goats, bottle baby sheep. We've done a lot of things with goat owner friends. <laughs> we, he's just behind there peeking out somewhere. We've done a lot of goat stuff in our past. The only reason that we waited so long, years and years and years to get goats. In fact, we had a farm prior to this farm and we waited and didn't get goats there. <laughs> the little boys playing behind this door is because I didn't feel we were ready for goats at that place. I didn't feel like we had a, 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 a space big enough for the way that I wanted to raise goats. And I didn't think that we had the ability to care for them at that place the way that I wanted to care for them. So we waited and waited and waited. But then soon after we moved, we got goats. Um, you guys didn't see all the waiting and waiting and waiting. You just saw us getting goats. What are you doing? <laughs> this is how the door gets closed every day. I leave this door open for them so that they can get in out of the rain, if it ever rains again. And he just jumps on the door a million times until it closes. I put this big rock here to make sure it doesn't. Uh, those are my papers. Don't touch it. Get away. Oops. Oh. Oh. All right, we got it. Anyway, I just wanted you guys to know that any animal that we add to the farm is always after this huge process of deciding if I'm ready. I am not someone that will make things harder for myself. I always take a lot of time to figure out if it's something that I have the time and the patience for. I absolutely do think that we will get emus because I see it. I see it every time I think of them. I think I see it in my head. I see them behind a gate and I see them on our farm. It won't be soon. It won't be now. I want to take the time to go through the winter to decide if it's something that I'll be able to do long term because taking care of animals in the summer and in the spring and even in the fall is really easy but over the course of the winter and we have long winters in Canada is a whole other matter. And I also like to take my time when I get a new animal and learn about them and figure them out and, and plan for them. I've been learning about goats for probably 18 or 19 years, like a really long time. 
and we are loving the goats and I don't find them to even be work. I actually trust Ellie with the boy goats way more than I trust her with the girls. They're just so sweet. I will try and be better at keeping you guys in the loop so that my choices don't seem so random to you guys. All right, so I am preparing for winter mode and that involves figuring out what we wanna do with the goats when they have babies. I have a whole plan for for breeding our goats. I have a, a time frame for when I wanna breed them, but I want our girls to be in the best health that they can. Uh, we're hoping to breed them both this season, two of our goats this season, but it'll all depend on how strong and healthy our little girls are. Come on, Ellie, you want in? Sam wanted a seat in the barn. I decided since we have to put these things in for the winter anyway, these are like our lounge chairs, that I would just bring them in and put them in the barn so that he could sit on there, anybody could sit on there and we could watch the goats. But also I was thinking like if a time comes where we do get our goats bred and if we ever have to sleep in the barn waiting for babies or checking on goats or checking on babies, if we need to like spend any length of time in the barn at night, we'll be able to use these to lay on. We can make them into a bed, bring blankets and pillows and stuff. So we put two of them, we put both of them in our barn. I love it. Here, let me close this door. Wait, before I close this door, I want to show you guys that I the goats love this little bunk bed that we made. The only thing that I notice is that when I come down in the morning to do chores, this is covered in goat poop. Makes it easy. I can pull the wheelbarrow right up, scoop it all in, and it's good for that. But holy moly, they make a mess with this. So uh, this is what it looks like. We have some electrical boxes really close to the stalls so we'll be able to run heat lamps if we need to but we're hoping to breed later in the season so that we don't need heat lamps but if we do it can be a really long winter in Canada we definitely uh, will be able to use heat lamps also I think I showed you this before but during the heat wave we were able to use this barn fan I'm gonna clean it right now because it's really dusty and that can cause fires. But we were able to use this barn fan to keep the barn cool at night when we brought the animals in, the goats and the duck and the geese in. It actually draws all the hot air out of the barn and sucks it and puts it outside. This barn actually doesn't even get hot in the daytime. Like it rarely gets hot in here, but we were still able to use it during that last heat wave to keep everybody super comfortable because I do close up the doors so that no predators can get in. I think our biggest predator on this farm are raccoons. And while I think our goats can take a raccoon, I do worry about germs because I know raccoons can actually make horses sick and have made some horses that I know very sick in the past. So I don't, so I just don't want to take the risk. I have noticed that the raccoons live in a barn across the road and are happy there, but they're still pretty close for comfort, especially at nighttime when they're roaming around. Hi, Rocky. See, Sam named him Rocky and he loves to be on rocks. I found this little bathtub. Let me see if I can get a better look on our property. And it's little, like it's short. Like it's not very tall. Will you help me push this over? Yeah, the chickens would love this. The chickens probably would love this. In fact, the chickens would probably love this whole garden. Molly, Molly like, loves nice this. <laughs> Oh, he's like, yes, it's so wonderful. <laughs> Isn't it a nice bed? We need to bring the chickens over here and let me. Yeah. All right, so anyway, I really want to utilize this, whether it becomes like a garden. We should fill it up for Ellie with actual water. Yeah, yeah. or it could become like a, a pool for our duck and our goose. It's actually probably taller than their, their swimming pool. It's this could be handy so I'm gonna try right now and see if we can get it emptied and I want to paint it and make it nice so all of our animals are dependent upon us our duck and our goose won't go where they want to go unless we go with them the chickens won't go away from where they live unless we're there to make sure that they're safe we have like super cautious animals <laughs> on our farm and I don't know if it's because we've coddled them or what the heck it is tried to tip this thing and it is heavy, but that's a better look at it. 
I'm doing a video on Ellie really soon. She is such a character. She, you guys have seen, a lot of you guys have seen. She's nine months old now, just turned nine months old last week. Has many friends around the farm. And then she also has many enemies around the farm. But she always finds a way to get along no matter where she is. And she's an inspiration to me. She's amazing. She is such a friendly little girl. She's scared of the rooster. Yeah, she's a little nervous of the rooster. She never lets the bullying of any other animal get her down. She always run, jumps right into any episode where someone doesn't like her and she makes them like her. She just doesn't ever back down and I think that's such an amazing beautiful tree. So before we moved in this farm had horses and goats on it um, and they asked us if we wanted to buy the goats. How many goats do you think they had? Probably five or six? I thought they had like ten. They had a couple of parents and a couple of babies. They didn't have a buck, I don't think, because we would have smelled them. But anyways, they were really cute. They were miniature goats, and I'm pretty sure they were Nigerian dwarf. They even had like a really beautiful brown one, like our beloved Mocha. Blossom. And Blossom. But we said, no, thank you. We don't want them because we weren't planning on getting goats. It wasn't until after we moved in, got everything set up and realized that we really were re ready for goats. We still had some more setting up to do, but we missed out on amazing goats that already lived here, already knew the lay of the land because we weren't quite ready. All right, we did it, you guys. Whew, it was a lot of work. So it was a planter. This is gonna become a project for us. I think this would be like, a much better water thing for the duck and the goose while we try and figure out if it's possible to have a pond on this property. This sucker is really heavy though, <laughs> like really heavy. And we'd have to build uh, some kind of a ramp for them to get in. It looks like there's a plug or at least a man-made plug. I know, but that's good to have. I wanna try and clean it out and maybe look into how I need to paint it to make it last. Shh, it's nap time. <laughs> All right, so today we are taking off this this hook thing. Oh, so now that um, we have school, we all have our own routine for chores. So Sam and Sophie do the horses, and I do the goats and the ducks. That's my. That's how it just has worked out that way. What about if we hung it on this? Is it too low? Um. Or we could hang it across like that door, but I don't know if there's a Might time. Be too low. Be Here, let me get my tools. So this is the biggest tool that I use. Oops, yeah, oh yeah, that's... Broom. You need a better broom. I know, these are the ones that were in this barn and actually I don't mind them. But yeah, I need to get some new brooms. I have one specific broom that I like the best and they're really cheap, but they work the best. Those are like weird. I found little hooks up here too. Oh, that's cool. I like the pitchfork better for cleaning the straw for the ducks and the goose. And I like the shovel better for picking up go uh, goat poop because that stuff just falls through the fork of any kind of pitchfork. Uh, I like these brooms even though they're worn because they they're rough they're hard and it allows me to really sweep well. All right so we are set. Well, that... Does it work? Uh, it works. Hi. Hi. See how flat this is out here? It's nice. It's soft on the animal's feet, soft on my feet. When I walk out it feels nice. This morning when I got ambitious I was wondering like how deep is this and how how like what is this and it's mostly poop and bedding from horses I think it's mostly that's what it is this whole area is filled with this so I was thinking how good it would be if I had a husband who had a tractor and he could come down and drag this all out because once the rain comes actually will this get even wet when the rain comes it won't get wet are you just saying that to me Hey, you look good as a farmer. Maybe when the snow comes, but not in the rain. Yeah, so when the rain comes, look at how cute you look in a barn. There's a plug there. We could put like 
lights. LED lights around here. Yeah, fancy lights. There's a plug over there. We just like, sometimes we just stand around this farm looking at everything. Like it's still like Christmas morning to us, even though it's been two months. <laughs> She's like, I don't know you. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I feel like I want to get rid of this in case it gets messy. I feel like it's going to be messy. I feel like when we moved in, it was messy. You know what I really like? I love these rocks. These rocks, this property is surrounded, like has them all over the place. Oh, they make my heart so happy. They're so flat on the top and there's so many big ones. We only have a couple of months before the snow comes, hopefully. And we're trying to figure everything out because I don't want to wait and then have animals coming in with mud. I want to figure it out now. We should put wood on there to block the snow from coming in. Yeah, that's a good idea. Build that up more. We have lots of wood, like lots of those panels on the top. That'll be your your fall job. That side too, right? Or no? That side's fine. Because it's already covered? Yeah, roof on the other end. All right. So that's roof going to be side. Sam's winter project to fix that up so that no snow comes in. <laughs> this is honestly my favorite. This is my second favorite part. I wish all the animals were down in this area just because it's so sheltered from the sun. It's got these natural benches to sit on. It's got the water trough. It's just like this really cute area that I absolutely love. My favorite things to do is to hang out with Sam and daydream about the changes that we want to make. But even the tiny improvements that we make or even the tiny touches to this farm that we put on make me happy. Don't you know that you